Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist this morning, we first recognize our own sin, and we turn to God and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, Corinthians. A reading from the gospel, or I'm sorry, a reading from the letter of St. Paul of the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is, of course, required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human being tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judged me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgments before the appointed time till the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness. He will manifest the motives of our hearts. Then everybody will receive the praise from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. <clears throat> Respontorial hymn or psalm. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fit in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn on you like the light, bright as the noonday, shall be your vindication. Salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from civil and do good, that it may be abide forever, for the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed, and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. The salvation of the Lord comes from the Lord. The salvation is of the justice from the Lord. He is the refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins, and no one who has been drinking old wine deserves new, for he says the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. The parable about the cloth and the wineskins has to do with ourselves. We are the old cloth. We are the old wineskins. And to receive the word of God, we cannot stay in old ways of thinking or old ways of doing things. To be able to receive the fullness of the word of God, to be able to receive the blood of Christ, to be able to be transformed by this grace, we must put aside old ways. We must put aside old ways of of thinking, of worrying, uh, of deciding, of judging, of behaving. From our baptism, there is a call and a transformation to become a new person. Moral conversion necessarily follows this spiritual conversion. It should come from a desire to be holy, a desire to be good, a desire to follow Christ more closely. And if it does not follow naturally, we trust in the supernatural grace to help us slowly throughout our lives keep putting aside things that are immoral, keep putting aside things that are bad for us, the way that we view others, the things that we lead ourselves into. We can receive new wine. We can become a new person. We can become transformed. And then we can be a light and a sign to others of the path to heaven. With confidence and trust, let us bring our prayers and needs before the Lord. For the Church, the servant of Christ, and steward of God's mysteries, let us pray to the Lord. For all who exercise political or judicial power in our nation, and for those seeking to bridge political divides, let us pray to the Lord. For all who are sick, may they know God's healing presence in their lives, and be consoled by the support and prayers of others. Let us pray to the Lord. For all gathered here who seek a deeper relationship with Christ and his church, may the grace of the Holy Spirit transform them for his purpose. Let us pray to the Lord. For for those who have died marked with the sign of faith, especially for Michael Lynn, our special petition, and may the angels and saints lead them to the new heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-loving God, hear our prayers and grant them in your generous mercy. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, 
confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray.
renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. They are holding off as long as they can, but there is there's going to start digging, leveling out, and putting in a, uh, a handicap ramp into my house so that next summer when we hopefully can have socials again, those with walkers and wheelchairs can get in. There's no handicap entrance to my house at this point. Um, there is some donation money going towards it, but we'll be having the bulletin next week. And if you would also like to contribute towards it, that would be swell. And if we get too much money, which is always a wonderful problem to have, um, it will be going towards whatever purchase we have to do for a new office building or hall. Hopefully we are selling the school soon, working on it. Nothing's final. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.